Since the start of pandemic, nearly 8.5 million children in United States have tested positive for coronavirus, resulting in more than 30,000 hospitalizations and more than 700 deaths, according to the most recent data from American Academy of Pediatrics. Seven children in Delhi who had contracted coronavirus died between January 9 and Jan January 12. So why are so many children contracting Omicron? Uh, the problem is the uh, this uh, Omicron or we call it as a coronavirus, it is a very very notorious and it was the first time it entered in the globe in 2020 and nobody know, was knowing about the origin of this uh, virus and even that proper treatment was not known to anybody. And a lot of struggles, medical fraternity and a lot of struggles, other condition has taken place and then they have come up with this one. Now you are asked about why children are falling sick. There are two reasons it can be because they are, those, those uh, children's parents are either not vaccinated fully, fully and otherwise they are not taking all the precautions which should be taken as far as the corona is concerned. Because I have seen in the in the uh, website also in the on the TV also, people are enjoying the life as a normal in Europe, in England, in America. They are not hesitating in collecting at all. So once they are infected, they are infecting their children. That is the reason. Otherwise, basically, children are having a good immunity, and if they are protected well, they will not. You can see we have faced uh, wave one and wave two very minimal children got suffered. We were expecting in the third wave, the children will suffer, but the third wave is going on. We have seen now, because those children also are, must be having some comorbid conditions, because that's why they have died. That is the reason. But are children severely getting affected? What is your viewpoint? You know, severely getting infected because the parents are either not taking complete uh, precautions for them, or children are prone to some diseases or they are suffering from the disease. That's why, because Omicron we have we have found out with the data, it is not reaching directly to the children, but we have seen the Omicron infection in the children is directly attacking the lungs, but not the adults. So that may be one of the reasons. Okay. And is it worrisome because it is infecting the lungs? And yes. It is, a, it is a matter of concern if it is infecting the lungs, then the severity is definitely there, then the patient may land in the hospital. This you can see, we have seen Omicron is very, very infectious, the speed of infecting others is very high, but severity of the disease is not there. That's why we are happy, but still I'm telling, one should not take it very, very lightly, otherwise we may again land as we landed in the second wave, we have suffered a lot. We had lost a lot of our near and dear in the neighbors. One of one person from the each family has gone. So we have to be cautious. And the only protection which we can get is vaccination and mass and social distance. So what are the symptoms that children are facing? Are they also facing similar symptoms that adults are experiencing or there is a difference? Uh, usually children are, uh, the symptoms children are having is the uh, low grade fever, cough is there, rhinaria, running of the nose is there. And, but recently we have seen few people are complaining that children are complaining as they are in drowsy, they are not in the position to respond properly. That is the reason. And third thing which we have noticed, multi-system infection syndrome is there which is causing and damaging the lungs, brain, heart, kidney and others. So if they are having multi-system infection, then definitely it is a serious uh, disease. Uh, we have to be very, very cautious.